Giants have emerged from their strongholds to threaten civilization as never before. Hill giants are stealing all the grain and lives that they can. Hello, 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 and welcome to this, the first final boss fight pub quiz. Oh god, everything's broken. Let's, On a Saturday. Let's fix That's this. The name of the quiz. Uh, hello, Brian, to begin with. Hello and welcome. Uh, we are here for the first ever inaugural fight. Well, it can't be the first ever inaugural. That means the same thing. Welcome to Tautology Club. Um, welcome to the inaugural Final Boss Fight Pub Quiz. My name is John, and I am Final Boss Fight's Quiz Master, Tech Ninja, and Games Master. And I am joined by Jeff. No, it's that way. Hello. It looks that way on my screen. Cause it, it's up there for me. It mirrors me to you. It mirrors me to me, but not to you guys. I'm just pointing up because that's where Jeff is. Uh, Tanny. Hey. And my brother, Anri. Hello. Hi. I don't know if it's this way. Of, uh, this way? <laughs> of this Meeple way Perk. Way. Look, their, their logo's over there on the cork board. Mm. Uh, and we are here to do a pub quiz. We thought long and hard about it and uh, decided it would be a really interesting way to do something a little bit different to gaming, a little bit different to the D&D that we do do. Um, maybe bring in a couple of new peoples, uh, give you guys a chance to flex your brains, muscles, um, and seeing as we're sort of struggling for things to do with all this staying inside all the time at the moment, uh, be a little bit interesting, a little bit different. And... Uh, yeah, that's that's generally where we're where we're coming from with this uh, general idea, and I thought I'd look up how how to pub quiz, and I'd I'd write a couple of pub quizzes out, and then I found somewhere that had ready made pub quizzes, so that was even easier. Um, so the, the first the first thing that I need to ask you guys. For a start, if you're watching along in the chat, you are more than welcome to take part in the pub quiz itself. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do probably four rounds of ten questions a round. Uh, and then between each round, we will mark that round and have ongoing scores for our teams here on the stream live at the bottom. But you can keep your score at home. Please don't shout out the answer if you know it in the chat, because that will sort of spoil it for everybody. Uh, but do shout out your do shout out your scores uh, as we go through and mark the correct answers, um, and do do feel free to take part with us as well. Um, but the the key and important thing for any pub quiz is that you guys need team names. I'm going to throw this out at you and not give you any warning that I'm going to ask you for this, because that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, we already came up with ours before we came. So, for a start, I'm going to say, Jeff and Tanny, think of team names. Uh, Drew and Re, what's your team I'm name? Just gonna yell at, I'm just going to yell it in um, Jeff's actual um, chat, because I think he'd be very happy about it. <laughs> Drew and Re, uh, what's your team name? Jeff? I've lost his um, our team name is uh, my my drinking team has a trivia problem. Sorry, my drinking team has a quiz problem. What was trivia the last year? Okay, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Uh, Jeff. Team Talon and Toast. Ah, come on. I thought we're working together, unless it's like a separate team. Oh no, you're all on separate teams. Damn it! Because I thought if me and him were, were tag tagging. Oh hi, Sean. Team. And Tanny, what's your team name? Come on, it's pretty obvious what it's gonna be. 
Durgans. Durgans. <laughs> Durgans. <laughs> it's not dragon, it's Durgans. Spelled like that. Durga. <laughs> Okay, I've I've spelt it a way that I I would spell Durgan, so, and I'm just going to update the little overlay that I've got going. One two three four five. Ooh, one two three four five. Uh, save and update that, and we should be seeing Durgans. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem, and Team Talon and Toast. Uh, and hello, Baroness Butler. Was Baroness uh, Butler. Baroness Butler says, haha, that's such a funny name, Re and Co. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, without further ado, uh, let's, let's get on to round number one. And so, I've got 35 numbered quizzes in front of me. Does somebody want to pick a number between 1 and 35? 19. 19. Ouch. Okay. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I didn't want to press. Let's get back your button there. Question number one of the first ever Final Boss Fight pub quiz. Who is the author of the book For Whom the Bell Tolls? Who is the author of the book For Whom the Bell Tolls? Ah, oh, does that not... Is pass a possible answer? For some, maybe. I was not prepared for any of Has everybody got an answer, whether they are happy with it or not? Yeah. <laughs> Which of the following is not one of the seven deadly sins? Hate, envy, anger, or pride? Hate, envy, anger, or or pride. Uh, this pub does the best of snacks, Sean. They are called whatever you have in your kitchen cupboard. Ideally, we'd be doing this with cakes as supplied by uh, Meeple Perk and their excellent cake selection, but unfortunately, really that's fancy. not an option right now. I really fancy chocolate, so tomorrow I'm going to do you, do you, do you chocolate mail chocolate order. Chocolate. Uh, not right now. Wish. We'd have lots of cake. <laughs> um, we're, we're getting from the last of the cake we have. <laughs> okay, does everybody have an answer for question two? Yes. Uh, question three. Which boy band had a 2013 hit with Best Song Ever? <laughs> and Sean says uh, trifle at present is being served in this pub apparently mm, 20, 2013 2013 hit with best song ever oh baby girl we need to fix that, Sean. We really need to fix that. Sean says, I feel that cakes can't be rated as excellent until she has had a chance to try them. I mean, it's only a good few hours away. Yeah. What have you written? Try and see what you've written. I don't know. Sean's learned. <laughs> My dog Bella doesn't want to come on the camera. She's so oh, awesome. Bella. She's on my, she's on my bloody bed. Camera shy. She normally is, actually, I've noticed. Every time she's like in a really good position of having a camera, by the time I get my phone out, she's like, <laughs> "Gone." Ah. Oh, here yeah, not. Okay. Uh, question four. Is everybody ready for question number four? Yeah. Let's go. If you add the visible numbers on a standard dartboard together, 
what answer do you get? If you add <laughs> if you add all of the numbers on a standard dartboard together, what answer do you get? <laughs> I mean, that depends on your uh, definition of how many is too many, Sean. A lot of promotions coming. Yeah, there. that that could be too many. Um, which UK suit? Sorry, question five. Halfway there for round one. Living on a prayer. <laughs> uh, which UK supermarket uses the advertising slogan "Every little helps." Which UK supermarket uses the advertising slogan Every Little Helps? Sean is channeling her inner drunk person at the back of the pub. Unfortunately, I'm the one who's not drunk. I'm the one who's basically <laughs> very, very, very not drunk. I mean, we're a good pub quiz team because there's three of us here who don't drink. And Brian's the one eating fish and chips somewhere. I didn't realize this. I, had on the I didn't realize this pub did fish and chips, but I kind of guess it really should do. Yeah. Yeah. I feel we're a pub on a seaside suddenly. That's where I want to have the pub. Uh, ready for question six? Yes. Who created? Yeah, sure who created yeah. the comic strip Garfield? Who created the comic strip Garfield? When you are done, just give me a nod or a shout or a thumbs up from Jeff. Uh, Drew? I mean, I'd give you a thumbs up, but you can't see me. Uh, you give us a shout. Two seconds, I'm just going to check if we've got an answer. Apparently we've got an answer. Cool. What, what is the name of the dog in Eden Blight Enid Blyton's series of The Famous Five? What is the name of the dog in Enid Blyton's series The Famous Five? Uh, who me recently you may have seen advertising certain train lines... Uh, in in the UK, they've uh, I can't remember exactly which train line they've been advertising, but we've got books of them in uh, um, in Conham Hall actually in there in library. Such a pretty nice. I don't I don't know if Drew remembers reading any of them as a kid. No. We used to have them at, my, uh, at our nans. They didn't have lashings of ginger beer, as I understand now. That was that was one of the common phrases that everybody thought was in the books, but it they never actually do. Is it true that ginger or Ginger beer or ginger ale is actually good for. Don't know. That's what I've been told. Everybody ready for question eight? Yeah. What country borders Norway and Finland? What country borders Norway and Finland? Ah, oh, let me just look at this wild map I have over here. <laughs> I actually do actually just realise I actually do, uh, that was a joke, but I do actually have a world map over there, but it's rolled up. So I just like the idea yeah, that you I you just like a good way. let's let me just look at this world map over here, point the other direction, and then realise oh wait it's over there. Uh, no, I've got board games in the other direction. Well, of course you do. 
And I've got board games behind me. I, it, <laughs> it probably isn't on the risk board. I'm just going to throw it out there. Probably not accurate enough for that. I don't know. I don't have. Do we have risk? Wait, I've got risk in there. Okay. That's I could accurate. Grab... Oh, yeah, I'm going to grab Pandemic. Read the room, Drew. <laughs> Read the room. I don't think it's on Pandemic, so I think it'd be fine. Uh, Final Boss Fight Live says, help support the party. Tweet the stream. There is a twit, twit, twit link. A tweety link in the in the stream chat. If you guys click that, you will you will tweet that you are watching us, and it will possibly help spread the word that we're doing a thing. We're doing Sorry, I, heard, I, heard, I heard there's a twit on the stream. There is a twit on the stream. Yep. But which one? We don't know. There's many of them. I thought I tore a live tweet. Yeah. Go use the link, you twit. Is he getting any echoes coming from me, guys, by the way? No. Not that I've I'm noticed. Because normally I'm seeing my thing highlighted, but I'm not talking, so I don't know. It might just be a little rustly. Dab you know the pressure. Um, we're ready for question nine? Yes. Go for it. What? Sure. Who is the author of the novel War and Peace? Who is the author of the novel War and Peace? I'm smart. Bella, bella, bella. Uh, ready for question 10? So the last one? Last one of round one. Oof. Um, um, yeah. Sorry. What is the smallest breed of dog in the world in terms of height? What is the smallest breed of dog in the world in terms of height? Give you a few minutes to write that answer down. Remember the tiniest dogs in the world. And then we'll mark up round one. I am done. I'm done. Okay. Yes. Oh, I feel dizzy doing that. Okay. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Are you ready for answers? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question one was, who is the author of the book For Whom the Bell Tolls? Does anybody have an answer they are confident giving? Ernest Hemingway. Ding. Correct answer to my drinking team has a quiz problem. Anybody who had Ernest Hemingway, give yourself a mark. Uh, question two. Question two. Which of the following is not one of the seven deadly sins? Hate. Correct. What? Hate is not one of the seven deadly sins. Fucking full metal has, has freaking fooled me. I thought it was anger. Oh. Uh, which boy band had a 2013 hit with best song ever? One Direction? Correct. Yeah. Uh, I guess that as well. I guess oh, it, it was still playing in the clubs when I was doing, like, when I was doing photography. <laughs> now I knew it. Uh, I used to listen to it when I was freaking that age, so... Uh, if you add the visible numbers on a standard dartboard together, what answer do you get? Two hundred and ten. There's twenty numbers. It is. I don't know that. It is two hundred and ten. I'm not a dart. Oh, person. correctly, as Sean also said, too many. <laughs> There's a darts game in Final Fantasy, so that's how I recently <laughs> knew that. <laughs> it's just what's the what? What do you get if you add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty together? Uh, Sean, Sean says, I think that One Direction was the only one that she's got right so far this round. There's more to go. Um, 
which UK supermarket uses the advertising slogan, Every Little Helps? Tesco. It is indeed Tesco. Uh, who created Garfield? Jim. Jim Davis. Jim Davis. Jim Davis. I actually don't know that one. So. <laughs> oh, we have put down Jim Davis, by the way. I was just—I've been keeping here every time I give an answer. You're just—you're you're just on first name terms with the guy. You're just. Yeah, we just know him as Jim. Yeah. Real Jim. Real chill guy, that Jim. Yeah. Uh, Hates cats. Hates lasagnas. What? Not Mondays. <laughs> what is the name of the dog in the Enid Blyton series, The Famous Five? Timmy. Or Timmy the dog to give him his full name. Anyone Benji. else? We got it wrong. I I it is it is Timothy, Tim, or Timmy. Apparently they they gave all three at some point. Uh, I've, heard Tim. I've never heard him called Timothy, I've heard him called Tim and Timmy. Timothy seems very official for a dog. <laughs> Tim Tim. Uh, hey, Tim. What country borders Norway and Finland? We use a pandemic map, which doesn't have countries, it only has cities if you actually look there. We took a best guess at Germany. I think it is. I put down Sweden. Uh, Sweden is the correct answer. Yeah. Hey. It's only, I only knew this because I used to watch Italian during my anime phase. <laughs> so I knew it because. Finland and Sweden were like kind of some like some sort of weird couple, even though it was more likely Finland was like even though it was a guy it looked like he was a mother type, while Sweden was like kind of a brooding dad type. So I was like, <laughs> uh, who is the so author? Really weirdly. Who is the author of the novel War and Peace? Tolstoy. It is Tolstoy. Oh, that War and Peace. Leo, yeah, that War and Peace oh, by Tolstoy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a really long Russian book oh. about war and peace. peace. About that. It's about war. I literally personally thought you said um, worn peace. Like, it's like a worn out peace or something. Uh, a what thing. is the smallest breed of dog in the world by height? Is it a yes. terrier? Sorry, we got a terrier? No. What did you? Teacup yeah, terrier. They exist. That's not the answer I've got, Jeff. No, I think it's going to be. Shiatsu? No. Tani, do you. Chihuahua? Correct. Oh! It is the Chihuahua. <laughs> uh, so, Durgans. Durgans. What is the score on your answer sheet for round one? Four points. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Your score is six. And Team Talon and Toast. Eight. I am not doing good. <laughs> uh, let's just update the stream overlay, and I'm already noticing one thing that I need to fix. Cool, cool. This is a learning. This is a learning session. <laughs> Uh, um, Sean, Tanny, apparently. Sean, Sean, Sean would like you to know that she scored three, Tanny. So, <laughs> uh, ready for round two. Uh, can I just be happy? Yep. We'll be right back after these messages. We'll be right back after these short commercial messages. We actually we could run a. Apparently, Ta Sean could have got four, but the trifle was a trifle distracting. Oh boy. John, who is the stream sponsored by? Uh, as ever, our streams are sponsored by both you guys at home watching us and by Martin Madrazo's Cheesy Bastards. I don't have Sean around to say the line, though. No. Uh, what, I, what I can say is that uh, Meeple Perk is a great place. It is. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Uh, even better when it's open. I mean, yeah, I, arguably. I mean, it's a great place right now, but it's even better when people go in. 100% <laughs> of people I've spoken to have said they really love Meeple Perk. Yeah. Is that John? And his other friend. 
Uh, so what's the plan with the quizzes going forward? The plan is, uh, I don't really have one right now. We're going to do them every couple of weeks, week to couple of weeks. Uh, they'll probably take place on a Saturday if we're not doing anything else. And at the moment, there's not a whole host of a lot else to do. Um... I'm I'm kind of liking this approach of having a couple of people on the on the Discord call uh and having them appear on the stream and then having other people in the chat uh chatting away um Saturday night quarantine quizzes. Yeah, I might might stick with the pub quiz name but um Quarantine quizzes does have a nice alliteration to it. I am back. Hey, I thought Reaper was taking over your team then. <laughs> no, that's fine. He was just um make he was basically keeping an eye on it. Um, I have Reaper, I have Junkrat, and I Junkrat, and I have Senyata. And also I have a cute little dinosaur triceratops school tree. I mean I just not... I just recently got my ghost. I'm jealous. Look, I got I got tree coal, the tractor. The Lego version. And I have to rearrange everything. What else here, what else do I have up here? Oh, I've got my uh the little sister. Hey. Actually, that's that is one of the between round things I thought would be quite interesting. I saw this as a question on Reddit mere moments ago. My cactus is in the other room. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, he's not. He's not in here. My cactus is a dude, apparently. Um. So, between between round question for all the teams, what is one thing that you guys have in your room that you don't think anybody else has? What is one thing that's in your room that you you don't think anybody else has, or a, not a lot of other people are going to have? It's true. Yeah. Anybody here? I have Liberty Prime. Nice. Not only is it, I have a complete Liberty Prime. More to the point. <coughs> I have a dog in my room. <laughs> uh, Brian says he has a frog drum, Ooh. which are, I, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I I don't have one. As you can see, I just passed the story. Morkborg. Uh, okay. Sweet, I win. What? Bella. Hey, Bella. Oh, I know why. Picture of a sunset. I think it was. I think sunset in Australia. That sounds awesome. That that is a very unique thing for Sean to have. <laughs> I have I have something that no one else has. What's that? Three. I mean, arguably. Well, has anyone else got a re in their room? No. <laughs> I just have a dog, Bella. A little bit. There we go. Then. Oh, she's smelling Not my hair, so I can't move. Sure. I can't move my hands, guys. <laughs> okay. I mean, I've I've got the Warhammer over there, and I've got um, Creed's quarterstaff and Gunter's sword there. Actually, you can just see the edge of uh, Gunter's greatsword in the edge of the frame, just here, next to uh, the dubstep gun. And there's the red dragon. I still want that dragon. He's not let me have it. <laughs> uh, Sean would like. Sean says that she's just checked her room and she doesn't have a re. It is just her in there. Good. So. Sleeping, the sleeping doe. <laughs> okay, is. She's just really sung out, to be honest with her. <laughs> is everybody ready for another round of fun questions? I'm ready for the first round of fun questions. Da 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 da. Right, did I move two bottles of juice and water with me? <laughs> Stay hydrated. Uh. Which three colours make up the flag of Germany? Which 
Which three colours make up the flag of Germany? You hear that on the TV? Yeah, stay, stay home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And watch us. Wash your fucking hands. Wash your hands, Jenny. I see. As long as they were saying stay home and, and watch us. I was like, does that have to be a specific hands. order or does it nope. matter? No, just as long as you get all three colours. Uh, we aim for a PG-13. Alright, okay, I've used my... That's your one. Yeah. I've used the one F word, everyone. <laughs> I said it twice. That's uh, that's it. That's that's all we get for a night. Fiddlesticks. Uh, what happens to London's Big Ben when Parliament is in session? Technically, we don't have a PG-13 here in the UK either, Brian. We have uh, 12A. 12 and adults. Uh, Sean suggests... 12 adults. Ah, oh, frying pans. Yes, I agree. Frying pans. Sorry, can you repeat the question, though? Yes, please. What happens to London's Big Ben when Parliament is in session? They invite him in. I still say that sorry. Uh, 12A interestingly came into practice when uh, the first Spider-Man film came out and people wanted to take their kids to see it, but it was rated a 12. Oh, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sean, Sean suggests that they have a big snooze button on Big Ben so that they just, like... Do you know what's the most annoying thing about that 12A thing? What's that? If I remember correctly, I was 12 years old at the time. Yep, you just passed. I was just allowed to see 12s, and I was like, yes! Oh. Actually, I remember well, something where... Um, yeah, I, I, remember, I, remember, I think I remember the time where... Uh, I was... I wasn't allowed... My mum and dad wouldn't allow me to watch Prison of, this Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban with my mum and my sister. And... Because oh, I was too young. So yeah. me and my dad... When watched um, Curse of the Were Rabbit with what's the Curse of the Were Rabbit. But it turns out after the movie happened, right? They said there's actually kids in there. They're younger than you, Tanny. I was like, could you that be it? <laughs> I want to see it. Uh, animals. Okay, question thirteen. Yeah, ready for question. On a surprisingly segued note, which Harry Potter book was released in two thousand and seven? Which Harry Potter book book? was released in 2007. No, I don't like Harry Potter either. Uh... John, John. Yeah, I've got all the books. Am I allowed to phone a friend in this quiz, by the way? No. Oh. I mean, you can ask the audience, but we don't actually have a studio audience, so... We do have an audience. We have a chat. We have a chat. We have a chat. I would love to find Frank, because I'd just find John. <laughs> I mean, I've got the answers in front of me, so um, I don't think they I can phone like Chris Tarrant. Mom. I'll just knock him and say, hey, Ma, do you know? Can they phone Chris Tarrant? I guess they could, because he doesn't know the answers either. Or it's not... Yeah, but technically Chris Tarrant isn't their friend. Yeah, true. Uh, Sean says, don't ask this particular seat in the audience, because she doesn't know. Uh, which star sign is not represented by a symbol of a living creature? Which star sign is not represented by a symbol of a living creature? I'm so much into horoscopes, I know. <laughs> horoscopes, damn. Kind of. Don't like it smushed up. I've just I've just been messaged things and I need to look at them now and oh my god. Oh, I've lost my answers. Hang on a second. I'm hoping I'll just come back. No. <laughs> I lost my answer. 
Do you want me to read out the questions again for your tourney? Uh, yes, real quick. Okay. Do with some background music. I'll see what I can do. I do have... Make it elevated music, it'll be pretty funny. I do have a Twitch-friendly Spotify uh, playlist still. So... Uh... Fort Is this going to be the billionaire theme tune? Unfortunately, it's it's not. It's going to be the chip tunes. Okay. Uh, but we'll have we'll have this. Uh, so anybody listening along at home should now be hearing uh, some nice and pleasant chip tunes. Let me know if that's too loud over everybody talking. We only had. Four questions, haven't we? Uh, so, so which three colours make up the flag of Germany? Yep, that's all I needed. That's all. I've got the rest. Cool. And then when you're ready, I'll do question 15. We're ready. Ready. Yep. Uh, which movie series features a leading character called Katniss Everdeen? Which movie series features a leading character called Katniss Everdeen? Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to cross my answer right now. Oh, I've got to say that out loud again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and also if you're in our discord you can go over to the voice chat stuff to see the picture of the sunset in Australia which Sean mentioned is this a good time to throw up the link to the discord in the um, chat uh, it is uh, if, if somebody who isn't me in the chat would like to just type exclamation mark discord thank you very much <laughs> I thought while you're saying that, I might as well put the link, put the link up there. <laughs> um, okay, question 16. Let's go. Which movie starring Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet features the song Mr. Brightside? Which movie starring Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet features the song Mr. Brightside? I can only think of one, and I hope it's the right one. I'm thinking one, and I hope it's the one. I love the killer sounds. Good. It's a good um, Batman. Uh, Sean says that Mr. Brightside is an absolute tune. Yes, I agree. I do like um, other songs that um, killers do. Even one just by Brendan Flowers himself is so like, fantastic. Um, continuing the musical note. Didn't mean that one. No, okay. Uh, okay. What song... Yeah. What song was duetted by Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan in 1989? Jason Donovan? What? I'm sorry, I know that's before some of your times. Thank you for making us feel old now, John. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I mean, Drew was one. You should know this. I mean, I was probably not even existed yet. And I was probably in an egg. Bella. I am straining. Ugh. Your brain's about to explode. It is literally about to explode on this one. 
If you would like, I can move on to the next question when you are ready. I can move on whenever, you, whenever you're ready. That's just going to bug me for the rest of the time now. <laughs> Uh, which Norwegian pop band had a hit with Take On Me? I think a couple of people got that one quite quickly. I'll read it. I'd, I'd like to think that somebody had a, a, a sudden realisation of who the artist was and then wrote that down as the answer. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Which museum displays the painting of the Mona Lisa? Which museum displays the painting of the Mona Lisa? I'm hoping I spelled it right. Sorry, no, nobody can see what nobody can see how you spelled it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but if Sammy saw this. <laughs> yeah. There would be questions. Really wanted to go there. I've been there. No, 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 no. I wish I was there. Uh, what was introduced to cars to stop the need to double the clutch? What was introduced to cars to stop the need to double de clutch? Now, car, this is a verb. <laughs> and that's the final question. That is the final question for the first. I don't think I've done as well on this one. That's question seven. Question seven, please. Uh, question seven of round two. Yes. What song was duetted by Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan in 1989? I feel like I should know. I should know it. It's buried in there somewhere. It's really bugging me because I know why I like. Oh, I don't know it though. Are we Are we ready for answers? I'm gonna put my phone right on the bed so I won't actually. Yeah, I think so. From the bed, like nope. Uh, so question one: What colours are on the flag of Germany? Black, red, and yellow. Black, red, and yellow. In that order. Would you also accept yellow, red, and black? I will accept them in any order that you happen to say them. Yeah. But that is the order that they are written down on my answer sheet. I get a point. What happens to Big Ben when Parliament is in session? Does it go? Does it actually sound? Is it switched? Stay down idle. It rings. There is a light above the clock faces. I did not know that. Okay. Uh, which Harry Potter book was released in 2007? I think it's Deathly Hallows. It was indeed Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Oh, oh it was one close. I had all of them. <laughs> which movie was that in 2007 then? Um, that would be Goblet of Fire. Fucking right, okay, cool. You've used... You've used the swear word, Drew. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You should be used to this by the time when I come on and stream with you. Uh, which... Oh, it's two years old. I had all of the... <laughs> which star sign is not represented by the symbol of a living animal? Libra. Libra. Libra, which is represented <laughs> by... Scales. Scales. I know that because that's mine. You are no bit less star signs. <laughs> which... Which movie series features a leading character called Katniss Everdeen? Hunger Games. Correct. You went forward by my Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which movie starring Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet features the song Mr. Brightside? Is it The Holiday? It is The Holiday. It is The Holiday. What? I love that movie. It's such a good movie. Uh, I heard the music of that one last year. I, she, I think concert. she was. I think Kate Winslet was singing it, and it made her really, really sad because she just not long had a problem. <laughs> I think she had that as a thing in the background or something. Yes, yeah, Sean. I think we need that hashtag. You know what was missing from Eternal Sunshine of Spotless Mind? Cameron Diaz. Cam Cameron Diaz was missing from that. Drew. <laughs> but Kate Winslet was in it, and that also featured that song, and that's why I thought it was Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. <laughs> 
Um, did anybody get an answer to the song duetted by Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan? The only one I can think of is especially for you. Correct. Yeah. Well done. Is Jason Donovan a, an actor or something? He was he, a neighbours. Neighbours went... or home and away, wasn't he with her? He went. He went the route as every other Australian so Australian pop star has done, sort of being in neighbours. Oh, and does Kylie? Is Kylie a British or Australian? Kylie, Kylie's Australian. She was in neighbours as well. That explains a lot then. And uh, who had a hit with "Take on Me"? Aha. <laughs> okay, I did not get that one right. <laughs> take on me. Take uh, where is the Mona Lisa? The Louvre. In the Louvre. That's redundant, because Louvre is the Louvre, so the same as the Louvre. The, the. The, the Louvre. And what was introduced to cars to stop the need to double the clutch? Is it a catalytic converter? No. I'd be surpri surprised if anybody gets this one. I just put Germans, because I'm following my historical thing. Not Germans. Just... Push Germans into your car. And, uh, technique and all that. Cycromesh gears. No. Yeah, no. Oh, I was going to say that. I mean, it's on the tip of everybody's tongue, wasn't it? So I wouldn't, because I don't drive. Uh, Durgans. Durgans. Six. Uh, so that's a total of ten points. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Five. Uh, so that brings you up to 11. That is what 6 plus 5 is. I'm doing the maths here myself. Uh, team Talon and Toast. 7. Uh, so that brings you up to 15. It's a it's a close race. Uh, Durgans is on 10. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem is on 11. And Team Talon and Toast has 15. And, Sean, yes, we need that hashtag as well. Hashtag can math. Hashtag. So the, the two hashtags we need are Drew's here, cover your ears, children, and can math. Hey. Sounds legit. <laughs> Full flat. Yeah, there you go. Good place, oh, sir. Good place itself, yeah. uh, so, can I get another... Oh, can I get... Can I get another number between 1 and 35? 27. 27. Doop, doop. Okay, so this will be the last uh, set of 20 questions for the night, so we'll do this again in t sets of 10. Um, oh boy, this is, this is going to be interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, what was the former name of a Cadbury Snicker? What was the former name of the Cadbury Snicker? Can I just say the name change was one of the worst decisions it's ever been my misfortune to witness. <laughs> Is everybody ready for question two? No. Yeah. I am. Sure. What is the chemical symbol for tin? What is the chemical symbol for tin? Hashtag can science. <laughs> Maybe science. Or hashtag I can't science. I can do science, me. Can Durgan science? Maybe. Can Durgan science? Hashtag can Durgan science? Probably not. Ready when you are. Yeah, I'm ready. The UK's first section of motorway was originally known as the Preston Bypass. Today it forms part of which motorway? Mm. 
The UK's first section of motorway was originally known as the Preston Bypass, but today it forms a section of which motorway? Ready. Thumbs up, Jeff. Uh, how many King Georges have worn the crown throughout British history? How many King Georges have worn the crown throughout British history? Would you accept all of them as an accessible answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking for a number here. <coughs> a, a, a numerical number. <coughs> I'm choking on Taurus juice. And everybody at home, I hope you're enjoying the soothing chip tunes we've got going in the background. I'm not hearing anything, so... <laughs> we, we don't hear anything, yeah. it's stream only. It's pretty, it's pretty quiet, Hick. I mean, I can actually, what I can do is... Uh... Bring the jukebox in? Yeah, it's good, good thinking tunes. Uh, what I can do is... If you're in the voice chat stuff, um, there is a listen invite in uh, voice chat stuff for anybody who wants to hear the same chip tunes. If you have Spotify, you can join and listen along with me. This is gonna be fun because I'm now joining. Oh, I need to be a premium member. Oh. Yeah, sorry. No can do. Uh, is everybody ready for the next question? 25. Let's go. In, 2000 ready. in 2017, which female artist earned the record for the most streamed track on Spotify in the first 24 hours, and I will give you a bonus point if you can name the track. Ooh. So there is a chance for a bonus point. Sorry, can you just read the question again? In 2017, <laughs> which female artist earned the record for the most streamed track on Spotify in the first 24 hours? And you get a bonus point, so I'm looking for a name of an artist. You get a bonus point if you can the tell me hours of, of, Spotify. of it being of the song being released. Right. Okay. Um, you get bonus point if you can tell me what the song was or is because it's still the same song. So one point if you can tell me who the artist is, and a bonus point if you can tell me what the uh, what the name of the song is. In 2017, which female artist earned the record for the most streamed track on Spotify in the first 24 hours? Sean, the music isn't too loud. It's not cutting over people, is it? Mm, I can't that one. Uh... Uh, no, it's good. Cool. It is it is set up to be background music, so I'm just gonna guess. I'm just gonna crack the window open. Don't break it. There we go. That's what he's gonna do, he's just gonna punch the window. <laughs> That's what happens in the missing link movie, that was pretty funny. 
That's just how Creed opens windows, just... <laughs> oh, Tani, I think your camera's frozen. What about now? No, you're still stuck. Hmm. It's having a bit of a glitch. Give me a second. It's not liking me today. Minus five points for leaving the quiz. <laughs> All right. Oh. It's getting a little on the frozen side now. Is everybody ready for question 26? Oh, yep. my Discord is frozen. Oh. Can still hear you, we can still hear you. Yeah, I just can't ac access it. It's frozen, but you can still hear me. Look, I can't access anything. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Well, let, let's, let's, let's leave it at that for now, then. Don't don't touch it. Don't don't poke it. Uh, what was the name of the ship which Darwin sailed his most famous voyages on? What was the name of the ship that uh, Darwin sailed his most famous voyages on? Oh, everything's freezing up on me, guys. I might have a problem with a crash. Uh oh. Uh, I'm not like an assault. I'm just gonna quickly turn everything off. Okay, we'll uh, we'll wait. If you guys haven't done so already, please do hit that follow button. It's a great way for you guys to know when we go live, and it's an awesome way for you guys to keep in touch with us. Uh, and see more of both this sort of thing and the other sort of things we do tomorrow night um jeff tanny and myself will be doing some D, &D. um actually yeah shard says do the contestants have much experience with pub quizzes we came third in one not too long ago no <laughs> uh the most recent pub quiz I went to, our team came first and had a near-perfect score. The only question we got wrong was one about an advert that was on television at the time that none of us had seen. Um, what, what was your one that you came third in, Drew? Uh, it was a pub quiz at um, the, local pub, uh, the local Spoons. Yes, we can hear you. And yes, we can hear you. your camera appears to be starting up. Yep, we has movement. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so, would I miss any? So, is it? What was the name of the Darwin? ship which Darwin sailed his most famous voyages on? Was the most recent question asked? And then, as soon as anybody, everybody's got an answer, I will move on to the next one. We have an answer. We have an answer. I have an answer. I say we, it's just me. Sean says that she did a pub quiz with the place that she used to work at. The quiz was a little slow, but we were guessing uh, song titles between questions. I s hope I'm assuming means. song titles. Oh. Yes. <sighs> uh, question 27. What is the first belt used in the standard belt colour system for karate? Oh. I get where you're coming from, Sean. She says it's standard her. She can't type tonight. I mean, she is the drunk at the back of the pub, so... <laughs> uh, is everybody ready for question 28? Yep. Yes. 
Uh, what are the names of all of the pieces used in a game of chess? What? What are the names of all the pieces used in a game of chess? Name all of the chess pieces. I don't mean call them like Frank and Steve and Fred. What are the pieces called? Damn it. Alright, better turn around. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Yes, that's what you said. What? I have to really deeply think about this because, jeez. What are the names we, of we the... We might have an advantage here. Oh, really? <laughs> you own a board games cafe. Do you have chess? We have three versions four. of... Four? Four, four. copies of <laughs> You have a stealth copy of chess that you don't even know about. That's how much I chess we have. I have a copy of chess in, I think, that cupboard that was... It might be that cupboard. Uh, that was from... Um, Total War. Samurai. I used to own, uh, well, my family used to own, like, a glass um, chest, actually. Like, So, the bright glass was to represent uh, black, I think, and the misty glass was, like, to represent the white. I can't remember, but... I, I used to have a small, not travel chest, but a small glass chest set. And uh, one, of the, one of the knights, there's a free point uh, came to an MCM Comic Con and smashed on the floor. Um, I remember this. This this was the um, this was the lose. This was the lose and Nemesis uh, chess set piece. I remember that incident. Uh, is everybody ready for? Did you actually drop it? Or something? It was. Uh, it was on top of the um, shield that we had on the wall. Oh yeah, no, and the no. shield fell off the wall, and it fell off of the shield. Uh, that's, that's that's not yes. good. And, question yeah. question twenty nine. Uh, which is the furthest west from the United Kingdom, Barbados or Cuba? Which is the furthest west from the United Kingdom, Barbados or Cuba? I think I've just guessed in this round. I think <laughs> a lot of guesses has been. That is a that is a good way to deal with these quizzes sometimes. So it's Barbados and Cuba. Yes, which is the furthest west, Barbados or Cuba? Oh. No looking at pandemic. What game can I look at? Uh, no looking <laughs> at any. <laughs> That's only Western. You can look at terraforming Mars. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll have the answers. Well, no, because we only like good games. In this. Ow! Burn. That's a lot of burning in this session. I think I think he just got uh, remonstrated for that. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Question thirty. Oh, so sorry, sorry. You can look at Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not called an anomaly. Last what? one, here we go. Okay, last of this round. Who has scored the most hat tricks in world football? What? Who has what? scored the most hat tricks in football? Got it. Sure. Can you confirm if he got a trophy for it? I cannot, because I oh. don't know. I don't know football that very well, unfortunately. Meanwhile, everybody at home is grooving out to a chilled out uh, Rainbow Road chip tune. Mm. Just, just so that you can imagine the background music for the stream. I think since my laptop has stopped from going glitchy, I'm going to have to open up my God damn internet again to do my information. <laughs> Who is ready for some answers? Yeah. It is I. It is I. <laughs> uh, okay, so question number one of this round. 
What was the name of Snickers, the former name of Snickers? Marathon. It was indeed the Marathon Bar. I call it Snickers. Yeah. I remember this now. I, remember, a... I just called it Snickerdoodle because I really don't know. <laughs> I think it's about mid nineties. Bar. <laughs> I, think, I think it's mid nineties, and I I remember thinking Marathon is a much better name than Snickers. Um, what is the chemical symbol for tin? I think it's S N. That is correct. S N. I don't know. I don't know my actual. Um... <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I used to know my parent cable, but not today. Fortunately. Apparently, this is the Jeff is on fire round. Let's see if that continues. The UK's first section of motorway was originally known as the Preston Bypass, but today it forms part of which motorway? Only because it's in the right direction, the M6. That is correct. Yay! I don't know the roads. <laughs> no, not I a week. But I basically said I know it's not the M1 and I know it's not the M25, and then Reed just went, I don't know, M6. <laughs> the wild stab in the dark approach. Uh, how many King Georges have worn the crown? Three. Four. I'm going to say six, because there was a King George VI. Jeff is correct. Uh, the Jeff is I on know, fire round continues. The Jeff is on fire like round is about to come crashing down now. <laughs> All I know, there's a party George in this one. There's a, there's, a, there's a miserable George and there's a party George, because I remember watching the whole body. <laughs> but I only knew there was only four of them so far, so... I think, uh, yeah, George III is the Mad King. Yeah, he's a bad and George yeah. the Fourth is his son. George the Sixth is the one who took over when Edward the Seventh Edward the Eighth abdicated, and he had a stammer. Uh -huh. You may have seen the film about him. The King's oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. Uh, in 2017, which female artist earned the record for the most streamed track on Spotify in the first 24 hours? Oh. I did so in the darkness with Lady Gaga. No. Beyonce. No. Rihanna? No. It was Taylor Swift. Um, Fuck! Okay, which one? Which song? Uh, look, look what you made me do. I should have known! <laughs> I should have known! <laughs> it was the most played. Oh. I should have known. What was, what, the, was like... what was the name of the ship which Darwin sailed his most famous voyages on? The Darwin was it, ship. Was it, the, was it the Beagle? It was the Beagle. The Beagle! What is the first belt in the standard belt colour system for karate? White. Correct. Oh. I would have been very disappointed if you didn't get that one, Drew. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't at first, but then, <laughs> and then, then rewrote it down, and I went, "Oh yeah," because then I realised what you were actually asking. I'm I thought you were asking that. that. What's the belt on from the first? I'm. What's the, the first, first one you obtained by? No, not by just going. I want to take. Part. Okay, so what is the first one you obtained by earning one then? Yellow. Yellow. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, can you name the pieces of a chess set? Yes. So that's King, what you actually asked. <laughs> King, Queen, Bishop, Knight, Rook, and Pawn. Correct. What was the other one? Oh, Pawns, Pawns, Knights, Bishops, Rooks, Kings, and Queens. Correct. Oh, is the Rooks the, the tower-like one? Yes. The Rooks are the, also known as just... Castle. Oh, I put it as Tower. They're known as Rooks, because that's their name. <laughs> that's the yeah, only but, one I But the act of not. moving a Rook two spaces, and moving the King two spaces, and moving the Rook the other space is called Castling. Can I please get a point yes, that I'm going to get all of them except one done? <laughs> I will give you I will give you all points for the number that you got correct. So you can have one point per correctly named piece. Because I got pawn, pith, bishop, king, queen, and knight, but I got the tower one wrong, the rook one. Uh which is the further west from the United Kingdom, Barbados or Cuba? 
Cuba. Correct. It is. Went the wrong way. It is Cuba. Uh, and who has scored the most hat tricks in world football? That would be Mr. David Beckham. No. Damn it. There'll be more. No. no. Messi. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh. That's who I would have said if we were taking a guess. But no, you were like he won an award for it. <laughs> No, you just saw him in Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmare recently. Um, this one's out of 16 if we're counting the, all the bonus points. Yes. Uh, Durgans. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for the the chest, I would have been naught. But I got five because I guess um, the chest piece is right except for the rook. <laughs> It's only five. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Nine. And uh, team Talon and Toast. Twelve. Suck this up your ass. <laughs> uh, sorry, I already had the one swear. Yeah, but that's only for you, though. <laughs> uh, so Durgans has 15 in total. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem, has 20, and team Talon and Toast. Uh, speaking of drinks, Sean is going to head to the bar to get one. Uh, and team Talon and Toast is on 27. Uh, okay, so... I keep hearing Talon on Toast. I think I should change the name of his team. Team Talon on Toast. Uh, okay. Question 31. Can you unscramble the following letters to reveal a human body part? The letters are T S R E U M N. T S R E U M N. Can you unscramble these letters to form a human body part? Can you just repeat that again? T S R E U M N. Unscramble yes. these letters. R E U M N. You got it. Tango, Sierra, Romeo, Echo, Uniform, Milo, Milo, November. Sorry, T S R E U M N. M N, Milo, November. Yeah, cool. We were just confirming for what we were thinking. Okay. Let me know when you guys are ready for round for for question two of round four. I'm ready when you are. I'm still trying to work out. Uh, oh, sugar. Um. And this is a, a, a part, a body part. It is a human body part. I'm done. Ow. Ah, my knee. That's not so good. Are we all ready? Uh, I believe so. Uh, so the next question is... Can you name two counties of England that begin with the letter D? Two counties okay. in England that begin with the letter D. Can you name two counties of England 
that begin with the letter D. Spoilers, there are more than two. You are not looking for the only two, there are more than two. But I am looking for you to name two of them. Okay, I think I've got two. Tanny's got a confused look on the face. Yeah, because it's confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. Sean has returned with beverages. Oh, Bella's dreaming. Bella! Bella! I'm just looking to see if I can put up on the stream what song is playing, but... Oops. I don't think it can with Spotify on here. I want to look at my phone, but I found my phone in the bed. <laughs> uh, uh, Drew, are you ready for the next... Yeah, we had a little bit of an argument about it, but yes. What is the centre of an atom known as? What is the centre of an atom known as? Yay, yeah, more science. Yeah. I don't know science that much. Yes, more science. Maybe two. Why did you write that on my foot? <laughs> You, you don't have a you don't have a notebook to be writing down in, Drew. No, we do. It's not an answer to the test. To the test. To the quiz. To the test. Strict exam conditions. <laughs> now, Reese just written "I love rude word" on my on my my foot. Okay. Mm. I've already used my one rude word, so I'm not gonna. Uh, who released a song called Treasure in 2013? Who released a song called Treasure in 2013? I'm already listening into my head. <laughs> That's actually one of my favourites. Can we take a second so I can just run to the loop? Yes. Bella. Uh, continuing our earlier discussion, uh, other upcoming streams include Monday, where hopefully Sean and I will be playing some more Minecraft on Minecraft Mondays, um, assuming we can resurrect the server in time. Uh, the server? It went to sleep and won't wake up. It's being a very naughty server. <laughs> it's been is in a coma right now. Yeah, it. it it's in a critical condition, unfortunately, uh, from the looks of things. It's it's not having fun. But if we can get it up and running, uh, we'll be doing Minecraft Mondays. Uh, Sean wants to start looking at bees, and so that means she's going to be looking into bee breeding, and I'm going to be trying to speed things along with a little bit of genetic manipulation. Um, We're not able to get um, Minecraft Mondays. We can try to do um, Don't Stare at we could if 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 well. minecraft doesn't run will will sean sean saved a bee in real life today so we might just go into sean's garden and do some bee breeding <laughs> some live stream with that going on <laughs> hello i'm covered in bees <laughs> um on Tuesday, Sean and I are going to be continuing Torchlight 2 Tuesdays, uh, because there's there's Torchlight 3 coming out, and I want to finish Torchlight 2 before Torchlight 3 comes out. Um, and we're getting close to the end. Um, on Wednesday this week, I think I need to try and see if we can get a Civ game going. Because I think the war between uh, AG and the rest of the world needs to finish. Yeah. Um, Wondrous Wednesdays. <laughs> Wondrous Wednesdays. Uh, Thursday will take a night off. Uh, just cause. Yeah, waging war on Wednesday. 
waging war on Wednesday. <laughs> That's a WWW. Uh, waging war on Wednesday. And then on Friday this week, it is um, finally time for us to play Scion. Oh, yeah. Uh, which means at some point this week, I need to sit down with Sean and make his character for Scion. Yeah, good luck with that. And also, I'll I need to... Up. I need to sit down with the books and remind myself how combat works in the game. Um, but the the Scion team, Saga and the others, uh, are going to be going up against a mission I have titled The Lost Hammer. Lost Hammer, because god damn it, that, my uncle doesn't know. Uh, so, ready for question number five of this round? Yeah. Yep. Uh, what is the best-selling Christmas song ever? What is the best-selling Christmas song ever? <sighs> what is the best-selling Christmas song ever? Silent night. Uh, question six. Uh, this is one for Sammy, really. Uh, how long is the Channel Tunnel between England and France? 24.4 miles, 31.4 miles, or 45.4 miles? I mean, I think, actually, I've been on the Channel Tunnel. Uh, I think... Sean, have you been on the Channel Tunnel? Jeff, have you been on the Channel Tunnel? I have been no, on the Channel Tunnel. Tanny? Yeah? No, I haven't. No? no. Drew? I, Ray? I, 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 I wasn't exactly really counting the miles, miles, though. No. I didn't, I didn't quite count the miles, though, I'll be honest. I'm probably be expecting the, the count of how how long you'd be on the Channel Mile thing. The Channel, um... You flew? Oh, interesting. I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. The only holiday I actually kind of remember was Ibiza and fucking Cyprus, and that's literally it. And trips to London, but that is. We went to okay. we went to France with my school, and uh, on the way back from France, our bus broke down in France, and so we were meant to be getting in sort of the evening time, um, back to Harlow in the evening. And we ended up going through the Channel Tunnel at midnight. <coughs> Oof. Um, to the point I'm where... Worried. Luckily they had like the phone tree thing going. So they had a parent they phoned up and then that parent phoned other parents. Yeah. So that everybody sort of right. knew what was happening. Uh, Sean says that she had to go visit a very specific Frenchman. Okay. Uh, which 2018 Netflix series stars Julia Roberts is going to be question seven. Which 2018 Netflix series stars Julia Roberts? No, Jeff, I don't think it was Emmanuel Macron. Oh, I don't think I got, um... No, I did have Netflix at the time. Which 2018 Netflix series stars Julia Roberts? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. You said Emma Roberts, and I would have said something, but... Julia Roberts. No, I fancy watching Netflix now. <laughs> I just recently watched the Tiger King series. Jesus Christ. Oh, I just looks it um, very I interesting. I want to even. I can remember it being advertised. That's good. I remember. I remember um, Tiger King before it became a Netflix series. Um, I watched this guy called Primink. Primink um, does a story about it and. Um, it was pretty funny. <laughs> he did it more funnier than what they did to 
the Netflix series. Is everybody ready for question yeah. eight? Yeah. Ready when you are. Meryl Streep and Amy Adams appeared in which 2009 movie together? Sorry? Meryl Streep and Amy Adams appeared in which 2009 movie together? Who's... Oh. What's she been in? Amy Adams. I mean, this she 2009 played... film. Uh, she yeah, played like, what's that princess one? in Enchanted Disney. It was a live yes. action that, um, Disney called Enchanted and she was a princess in it. Very she's good film. Ginger hair. It's a very, she's very cute. Um, she was also in Arrival. I think it's called yeah. Arrival, that alien movie. That was I'm not even seeing that. Keep, keep going, Tony. We might get the answer in a minute. <laughs> oh, isn't um... oh, I don't know yeah, this one. I, I know which movie you mean, but I can't. Oh, I don't know the tip of my. I, I scroll the tip of my tongue. Let me know when you're ready for question number nine. I'm ready for number nine. What was the, is it Amy Adams you said? Amy Adams and Meryl Streep. I am ready. In yeah. what year? 2009. You can see the pain on Jeff's face sometimes as he thinks, says Sean. <laughs> I'm not I'm to do it very tired. often recently, that's the thing. Brain is just, just not working. And that's one of the I other reasons know. we need to do these quizzes. It's it's to keep the old grey cells firing. Old grey cells? The little grey cells. <sighs> no points for telling me who says that one. I just think of Team Fortress 2 for some reason. That's not <laughs> it. I don't know, Jeff knows that. Jeff does indeed know that, yes. We'll go for a cup of tea right now. Maybe later. Would anybody like to go for question nine now? Yeah. Yes, please. What type of semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal can be found in lakes and streams in eastern Australia? Sorry? What, what? type of semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal can be found in lakes and streams in Eastern Australia. Uh, I think Sean has this one. Egg-laying mammal. Semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal can be found in lakes and streams in Eastern Australia. Uh, they are also... I can't remember, are they poisonous or are they venomous? I think they're poisonous? Um, they were also not believed as a real animal for a long time because people at the Royal Institute in London just thought people were taping bits of other animals together and sending them cool. back. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were giving away the answer now. <laughs> You've given away so much information. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Question 10, let's go. <laughs> question 10, here we go. In oh, multi question 40. The 2002 World Cup was held in which two different countries? 2002. The 2002 World Cup was held in which two different countries? Yeah, a whole bunch of people don't think Australia is real, let alone the animals that live there. Why well, have you ever been there? I've never been there. I know people who have been there. My nan has. My nan has. His nan has. Sean oh, has. I see what he did there. Sean has. Uh, I'm not yeah, confident Sean's about this relatives. round. Sean's been there three times. That's because she's got relatives, hasn't she? Yeah. Big family. Oh, Drew and I have relatives out there too. You know... Just quickly, just coming off topic, since we're actually basically got the video version on um, 
Discord. You could probably do like a video, like we could actually do a live stream of D and D where we got the videos on now. Yeah, we could work that in now. We'll probably give that a shot when uh, we do it for uh, the Sunday coming. Sean says my auntie married a, an Aussie lifeguard. <laughs> uh, goals. So cool. Goals. Uh, yeah. uh, sorry, an actor, I believe. Okay, are we ready for some answers? Yes. So what? Yep, let's do it. What was the human body part? Sternum. sternum. Correct. Yeah, I got sternum. Took me a while. Um, the question is, where is that on the body? It's the sort of here. And the yeah. Uh, I thought I had to ask you to do one of your educational stuff. Um. Who can name me some counties beginning in D? Derbyshire and Dorset. I got Dorset and Denerim, but I think Denerim is actually a C. Denerim is a city in Dragon Age. No, but there's also there's I think actually there's a place called Denerim in um not far from me. Ah. Uh, it's not far. It's basically in Nor It's like between Norwich and Kingsland. It is unfortunately a town, not a county, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's what my... But I got Dorset wrong, sir. Dorset you got Dorset right. right. So can I get a point for that? I'll give you a point for that. I'll give you two points, Drew, for... And Jeff. I got Devon and, Devon and Dorset. Yep, that's two points. I'm disappointed that none of the Northern Brigade got Durham. <laughs> I wasn't sure Durham. about it. I thought I wasn't sure if that was a city or not. Which one? Durham. That's the county of Durham. That's what it's called. Yeah. Ah. But it's not called Durham County. It's, hey, it's Rekia. Begins with C. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Uh, what is the centre of an atom called? No. Nucleus. Nucleus. I, I call it the antimatter. <laughs> it is indeed the nucleus. It was uh, name, name two counties beginning with D, Rekia. Um, who released a song called Treasure in 2013? I think it was Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, definitely. It was indeed Bruno Mars. Uh, who, 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 uh, what is the best selling Christmas song ever? Slade, it's Christmas. No. All I want for Christmas is you? No. Is it killing in the name of? No. Uh, uh, White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Uh, oh, never knew that. How long? Well, no, the reason why I said all I want for Christmas is you is because it's been blasted out so many times. In <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> the song was just blasted out so many times. I think my thought of it. I think when you hear most of the time immediately. How long is the channel tunnel? B. 31.4? 31.4. Is that B? That was B, yes. Yay! Uh, what 2018 Netflix series stars Julia Roberts? Homecoming. Correct. I oh, thought that was an okay. Amazon show. I thought it was an Amazon series. Uh Meryl Streep and Amy Adams appeared in which two thousand and nine movie together? It was a cooking movie, but it's on the tip of my head, it's like Mori or something. Anybody? No. Drew? No, we like uh, we originally uh, no. had uh, Devil Wears Prada, but that's not uh, Starlight? Nope. Uh, I know it's they're both because Amy Adams, Adams is is Lois Lane, isn't is it? She? Uh, yes. Oh, Sweet, right. Uh, Julie and Julia. That's the one. Oh, oh, that. I know it was a cooking because they were both uh, um chefs or cooking people. Uh, and all together now, what type of semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal can be found mm -hmm. in lakes and streams in eastern Australia? Double platypus. Platypus. It is indeed the platypus. <laughs> It's Perry, guys. Come on. It's Perry. Oh, you know that because of Ken. Uh, the 2002 World Cup was held in which two different countries? The only one I can think of is Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
No. Okay. Uh, Brazil and Africa. I can't remember no. those two. England and Wales. No. Uh, oh, Japan and okay. South Korea. Oh. oh. So, remind me, are we getting two for the counters and two for that last one? Uh, yes. Can I get a point about saying that was a cooking, it was a cooking movie? Or, um, I can't give you a point movie. for that one. <laughs> Can I just get a point? Movie? Uh, Durgans. I got four. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem. Eight. Nice. And Team Talon and Toast. Six on that one. Okay. Let's update the scores on the doors. Uh, Durgans finish up the round with, or finish up the quiz with 19. Uh, my drinking team has a quiz problem, had 28 in total. And heading off into the lead, Team Talon and Toast, or Team Talon on Toast, has 33 points. We never see him coming. Recount. <laughs> uh. So Durkins has 19, my drinking team has a quiz problem, has 28, and Team Talon and Toast has 33. Did anybody else in the chat uh, take part and get better than any of those? Get Jeff to do more pub quizzes. Yeah, apparently we need to. No, no, no. Brecky, you only just got here. What did he say? He says he didn't. Uh, Sean yeah. says that she would have been just behind Tanny. Oh. We'll work together next time, Sean. Dan scored 103, which is impressive as there were only 40 questions. Yeah. And I didn't give out that many bonus points. Um. So... That was the inaugural final boss fight. Uh, stay at home, you nasties, pub quiz. Um, <laughs> the correct answer is, of course, always wash your damn hands. Wash your damn hands, you nasties. Um, we are going to look to do these... <laughs> uh, we're going to look to do these about weekly with a little bit little bit of time between them, I think. Um, we'll try to have a sort of rotating cast so that we don't always have the same people on the Discord call with me. Same people were winning. Uh, can, I be the Alan, can I be the Alan Davis of this thing? <laughs> you have to start setting off the alarm more frequently. We'll have to, <laughs> first of all, get an alarm. Uh, Jeff, can you add that to the soundboard? Can you get the klaxon? <laughs> what the? Jeff has a soundboard now. Do you have a dragon's roll yet? Do you have? That's impressive. Okay, you win my vote. Uh, <laughs> number one, engage. Dragons. Sorry, speaking of dragons, I've got a lot of dragons over here now. And now we have to all do the shaky that's seat me. acting. No, that scared me more than John sneezes. <laughs> that scared me more than John sneezes. I would do it the winner of the previous quiz stays on for the next one. I would do it the winner of the previous quiz probably is the one to get knocked out for the next one. <laughs> uh, otherwise, the winner from the previous quiz probably stays the same. But we'll see who's available is the other thing. Um, you do a title saying um, the, the king of um, quizzes and then keep that title until the next um, <laughs> session we have. And we've got to try, um, beat your, your title. We've got to try and beat your title. Five, oh, point, five point deficit. Okay, that could be interesting. There was a quiz on Channel 5 went back when it first started called 100% and it was like three contestants and the winner on that would stay on for the next one. And this one guy, he must have stayed on it for like three months or something just like Jeez. winning every single day. I could do one of my famous QI style quizzes where nobody scores any points. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick as the quiz master. You should do oh, a quiz boo. where you should do a quiz about like um, history of D and D that we've done. Basically, like, yeah. oh, what was 
loser's character at the time. What was the loser's <laughs> part? What was the third result in 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 the campaign when the <laughs> dice was rolled? What was the came? first dice roll? Oh, what is a goblin's AC? <laughs> What's the goblin's AC? Uh, no, Sean. That was, that was <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight out and say no. I'm not doing the quizzes. Because I have the power to say that. Because you don't want to show how rubbish you are at quizzes. Yes. Yeah. We are going to say to you guys that are watching along at home, thank you so much for watching with us uh, and for, for taking part if you did, for, for being the drunk at the back of the room if that's all you did, uh, for having the fish and chips in the corner if that's all you did. Uh, if you haven't done so already, hit that follow button and also the Discord link in the chat. Join in. Um, we will. Uh, we we look forward to seeing you on the Discord. Uh, for now, guys. Before there is any more mutiny, I'm going to switch over to the credits screen um, <laughs> and say that tomorrow night uh, we are going to be back with in the clutches of the cult, uh, where. Uh, the group is heading north towards Belliard to return a pair of uh, kidnapped former slaves. With me and this guy up here. With Tani and Jeff. Um, on Monday, as said, if we can get the server working again, we'll get down to some beesness and get some bee breeding going. If we can't, uh, it might be me and Sean and Tani play a little don't bit of don't starve, starve together 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 uh and then on tuesday torchlight 2 tuesdays continues as we enter the ember heart but for now guys yeah maybe others if they're also around on monday for uh don't starve if we don't starve or minecraft if we minecraft for now guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you again real soon bye guys bye.